When transact, we do have a feature of inventory dashboard, which gives you exact visibility around your stock valuation, around your entire graph of top selling items and top buying items. So let us quickly go ahead and see that what exactly is it and how it can be helpful. Quickly, let's go to our inventory module. Now, in the inventory module, you can see an option of inventory dashboard. I will simply click on this. Now, this is my inventory dashboard. So, please have a look. The very top gives you the valuation, top selling value and top bought value. Just below that, it gives you a visibility around the stock level of items. So, this reflects that you can see in how much item the stock is negative, in how much item the stock is on low, in how much item the stock is on optimum stock and high stock and excess stock. So as defined earlier, the negative stock are those which need to be procured. Low stock is also that which need to be procured. Now the optimum stock is that where you don't need to go and take an action. You do have sufficient quantity of stock for that. Now in high stock, it is like that it is not being a very big liability to you, but still it is in the high stock level. Now in excess stock segment, the excess stock segment is that level where the item becomes a liability for you. So this is how transact reflect you that you can how you can go ahead and plan your procurement or where exactly you need to focus. Going below, this is the stock valuation part. So stock valuation is mainly defined on your inventory. So there are a few of the options here, like the very first thing is buy type. So while adding the item, you go ahead and select the type, buy, vote, sell, and all that. So it gives you exactly that in buy item, how many items are there and what is the exact valuation of it. So the valuation is entirely calculated. So uh, suppose there is one of the item for which I do have 20 stock and for one item for one piece it is calculating the price of 180 so it will be get multiplied and then after it will show you the value now it gives you the valuation according to people. here I can go ahead and change it to average price as well and in the buy type I can go ahead and see it by category as well so once I will go ahead and click on the category and refresh the data please have a look now here it will give you the entire visibility like exactly in packaging material how much item i do have and what is the valuation of it same goes here with the graph so it gives you the entire visibility going below you can see your top selling items and top bought items you can check the data in last six weeks last three months last 12 months also you can check the data by item by category same going with the top bought items as well also it gives you a graphical representation of price trend. Now, in the very bottom, you can see that it is a definition of excess stock and low stock. So, how it works, please have a look. Once I click on this drop down, have a look. The stock is equal to greater than maximum stock level, and also maximum stock level minus 20% is smaller than stock, is smaller than maximum stock level. So, this is how this data represents your entire inventory condition same goes here in the low stock as well here also it is displaying on the zero as well and also in the addition curve. so this is how you can go ahead and check your inventory dashboard i hope it will be very much helpful in managing your inventory have a good day